Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast Mode. Grind it. Yeah. 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 You done ate all the chips. You just left me grounds in the bag. You didn't save me in it. See how this woman does me. I specifically told her last night, don't eat the chips. No, he did not. <laughs> all right, man. We got another question from a subscriber. This is another episode of Ask Bass. If you'd like your question featured, send it to nursebass0831 at gmail.com. Uh, I'm kind of tired of reading these emails, so I'm going to let the wife read it. I, can, I don't have my glasses on. Can you? Your glasses are right there. I don't want to put them on. <laughs> Question. I'm currently in anatomy and physiology. As I am study, studying, I am wondering if you still remember everything that you learned in those classes. Can you honestly say that you still remember every single muscle, bone, etc.? Because I am worried I will forget once I am doing clinicals. You will forget, and that's okay. <clears throat> you don't need to know how many bones are in your ear. How many bones are in your ear? And there's three. Three. On the inner ear. On the inner ear. But no. We have this conversation all the time. What are the names of those three bones? The incus, the malus, and the stapes. Get it. I do remember that. And how long has it been since you had anatomy and physiology? At least five years. And I just put her on the spot. So you'll remember some things. I really just, yeah. I'm surprised. She's kind of happy with herself right I'm now. Kind of, yeah, incus. Uh, anyway. So the thing is, is like, look, whenever I took anatomy and physiology one and two, I studied like crazy. Like you are crazy. hitting my arm. Like crazy. Can you stop. The thing is, is that study very hard, okay? But the fact is that you're going to lose some information, and the information that you lose is not important, obviously, or you would have remembered it. The major things that you're going to need to remember and that you probably will remember are the major organ systems, you know, the cardiac system, endocrine, renal, uh, GIGU, you know, you, you will need to remember those things for nursing school. Now, I'm not talking about when you get on the floor as a nurse, but for nursing school, you're going to need to remember those things. Um, now, the exact physiological processes, you know, if you're talking about the pulmonary system and how gas actually occurs, the exchanges with that changes in the atmospheric pressure and the partial pressures and all that nonsense, you won't remember at all. Exactly. But study your butt off because there is stuff that you are going to need to retain. Um, but yeah, as far as like the anatomical features with the different bones and the muscles, that stuff don't matter. No. Because once you go into your designated area I wouldn't call it a specialty because it's not really a specialty oh gosh but I mean being a labor and delivery nurse I'm not going to remember everything there is to know about the neurological system I'm not going to know anything about well I will know something but I'm not going to really need to care about the neurological part of the body the brain all that stuff when I'm delivering babies so right. when you start working you're going to lose a good 60% of things that you've learned. And that's pretty sad. That is sad. But waste, unless you're going to come home from work and study every night. You waste all these all these years. <laughs> it's not a waste. It's, I mean, if in the long run you just forget it all, it's a big old waste. Or it goes into like I a mean, filing system in your mm -hmm. brain. So like I could probably, you have hairs all over your hat. You could probably pull something from like way down deep in your brain a couple years after you've been working. If you forget, you need to remember something, but you just learn what you need for your job because you don't really have any other space for anything else. There you go.